Hello everyone! Have you ever wondered if it's possible to implement real-time performance object detection models without a GPU? And media by phase detection is a proof of concept that makes it possible to run single class object detection in real time without a GPU on any CPU. But you may ask, what's the problem? There's a lot of such solutions that give us kind of easy real-time phase detection. There might be many scenarios where we would like to use a single class object detection and it's usually required. For example, when we want to detect multiple objects in an image, it might be a car, a person, bicycle or a lot of different objects. Usually when we talk about phase detection, we are simply interested in our region of the face and the borders and it's not required to detect many different objects that are pretty different and usually we use face for example for face tracking in a camera stream so when we are talking about real type face detection the such implementation should be should run in a real time and should run this inference on a CPU because nowadays not everyone has a GPU. It's pretty ex expensive if we would like to run phase detection on GPU only to achieve real time performance. It's inconvenient at all. So nowadays there's a lot of phase detectors that simply run on GPU, on mobile device and etc. But a few years ago there, there wasn't. Uh, a lot of developers were using a large model such as YOLO, SSD, faster recurrent networks that are pretty large and require a lot of databases to be trained. And then we usually used uh, transfer learning to retrain such models. But also they were running pretty slow, for example, two frames per second on CPU only to detect faces that's total waste of resources because well it's pretty understandable that that face has a landmarks that we might detect and do this even faster without artificial intelligence but if we use this with only a cpu uh, it's not that accurate we are losing a lot of faces in real time. So to overcome these problems, the developers, smart developers in Google, Facebook and etc. developed this kind of media pipe phase detection, for example, that is super fast, lightweight and might run on CPU and GPU, of course, hundreds of frames per second. For example, if we run this media pipe on mobile GPU, it can't even achieve thousands of frames per second. It's, I believe it's pretty fast and it's totally enough. We To, to achieve this real-time detection, it's, it's around 30 frames per second and we can't see any lag in it. So, there was many problems uh, with these multi-class detections. To solve these detections, the there are, there are paired a single class detections and you can google a lot of these implementations and you can test them how you want and one of the sol solutions that i'll introduce you in, in this tutorial is media pipe phase detection it's pretty straightforward and you already can see this example in a gif where few persons moved around in obviously mobile device and you can see that there's no lose of faces it, it was recorded in every frame and i believe it's even used a face recognition on top of it but when we talk about face detection and recognition recognition we shouldn't confuse about that because when we want to recognize a face we first need to detect it and localize in a frame crop it and then send it in a recognizer model but that's not the point of this tutorial it's only about face detection nowadays a lot of these face detection models are at the same point can recognize the nose lips uh, eyes and ears in the detection at the same moment uh, so this solution is also given for us with these media by phase detection stuff and uh, I'll, I'll show you an example but you might ask at first well uh, where is the, this phase detection used so basically as i said nowadays no one used 
only single phase detection usually it's combined with a facial recognition but face detector might be used to recognize the emotion of the person if it's happy angry sad or whatever it can be used to unlock our smartphones it's pretty fast and i believe nowadays everyone uses it to quickly unlock our phones without using fingerprint or smart lock or pin code or whatever also it can be used in a securities to protect the premises from unwanted people so it might cameras might be in a different places different room corners and etc and simply it detects the faces and checks if these people exist in a database that's pretty easy also it it is nowadays used in a border control when you automatically border control for example when you land somewhere with a plane you go to border control you scan your own passport and the computer scans your face and it checks if the same person is going through also, it might be used to secure vehicles. For example, if you rent a car, there might be a camera with your face. So other people won't be able to drive because it would, wouldn't be their face in a database. Also, it, it is used in ride sharing, for example. So the driver might pick the right person for them. And this is simply by saving the user face in a database and then in a camera, there's camera and simply we can compare if it's the same face that the driver picked. Also, it might be used in a, in a home IoT. So smart homes might recognize if the owner of the home came and it can unlock more features for particular person also it is used in law enforcement and you might see in this series with a uh, csi and etc when when they check the cctv camera stream and check the face on the database to find the person they are looking for there's a lot of examples where the face detectors and face recognition might be used but it's even impossible to list of of examples where it could be used but you you can think you can google there you might find find a lot of solutions so coming back to this media pie face detector you if you would read it in details you might see that it, it's based on blaze face uh, implementation and you might get deeper into it if you're interested but media pipe simply change some details there it used mobile net uh, pre-trained model, I believe, and converted it to TensorFlow Lite, so it would be GPU friendly for mobile devices. That's pretty it. And if I scroll down, there is they offer two model selections when we choose zero and one. And zero means that we are detecting faces in short distance; it's around two meters. So this works in a real-time con camera conversations like right now I'm recording in front of the camera. And another model is within 5 meters range. And this might be used, for example, when you make uh, photos of people with your smartphone. So here we can make photo only when people are smiling to make, make it, for example, better quality and etc. And also they use... Um, they offer to, to change minimum detection confidence. And this is the confidence of faces. So if we said here 0.5, this means that only faces will be confirmed detection if the con detection confidence is larger than 0.5. It's pretty straightforward if you are interested in machine learning stuff because these kind of confidences are used everywhere. And of course there is a uh, explanation about the output and etc there is also the so python solution javascript solution for websites and etc you simply can open this in google and you can Im implement wherever you need it but here comes my implementation i made it way simpler i 
create an object for this media pipe implementation. So if I go here and I open my face detector, you might see that I created media pipe face detection object. We simply need to initialize this object and we'll be able to use this kind of detector. And here we see you have two arguments for model selection and confidence. And next we we create an object with media pipe solutions, drawing utils. These utils are used to draw a bounding box and landmarks of our face. Then we create another object of our detector. And on the third step, we initialize our model with the model selection and the confidence. And that's it. Our object is already prepared for, for this inference. And next step, we simply feed the frames to this object. Here comes the frame, for example. And on this frame, we initialize here uh, the inference and we receive the results. And if there are detections in these results, there is a specific object for that. This means that our model had detected a faces and we might use it so here i used also media pipe implementation to draw faces at the same point it draws the bounding box uh landmarks as eyes lips nose and ears and puts it on the frame and returns this frame for us if you need different implementation you can change this whatever you need maybe you want to return only uh coordinates of the detection and not to draw it so you could save it you might change it according to your needs it's up to you i'll publish this to my github link that is in the description so right now you might ask okay we have this object how to use it it's pretty straightforward so first uh this is the second tutorial in my series the first i cover the media pipe uh, segmentation uh, model where that I am using right now to remove background from my camera and uh, I, I can focus only me here right now talking for you. And next, as you can see, I defined this media by face detection object here. And how to use it? I simply need to create another object engine and I'll be able to run it. So in more, de more details you can find about this engine in my previous tutorial, I gave here a kind of detailed explanation what I did, why I did, how I did, and now I can pretty simply, simply use it with video, image, or even webcam stream, display it, give it a webcam ID I want to use, and add any objects I want. So for instance, right now I added segmentation module, media phase detection, and FPS metrics. So we can measure how fast this implementation works. So right now I simply need to run this and you should see the view of me here right now with a blurred background and phase detected. That's, that's right, exactly. You can see that I blurred myself here like that and this blur blurred image was sent to face detector and face was detected and drawn here and of course i haven't implemented uh, the colors what was we put on this frame but it's also pretty straightforward and you can i believe you can write by yourself all of this because there is a lot of documentation in media by website you saw it and of course the links you all the links you can find in my text version tutorial and i believe there is nothing else i should add to this because it's pretty straightforward it works and you can use it whenever you need this is kind of a quick overview of media pipe solution how to implement it and how to use it in similar ways you can create objects for different implementation of face detectors i i, I know there is uh M, mt mt cnn something similar but there is a lot of the texts that are detect faces more accurate but slower so it's up to you what you choose to use but 
As you can see, it's pretty simple and straightforward to use it. You can put this on Raspberry ca camera if you want. You can, I don't know, use it to protect your homes. So you can place it some in some corner and send stream of camera to your computer, crop the face, apply the face recognition on it. Whenever you wait, it's kind of pretty simple. So I... Here's the end of this tutorial, and I'll say that we learned a lot in this tutorial and how to use this media pipe library to detect faces in the images, save it videos, or in real time webcam stream. And I introduced you how to use my engine object and how, in a similar way, you can implement your own solutions in that. Basically, with all this code, we we have visualized detected faces results. So as you, can, as you can see, of course, right now, landmarks, mouth, ears, nose, lips, and etc. Landmarks might be not that accurate when, when we move our head to right or left, but it's pretty accurate for the frontal face as, it, as we use most of the times. And that's it. And I think in the next tutorial, I'll create another object I'm interested how we could implement some kind of sketching with OpenCV. And I believe it shouldn't be that hard and should run pretty quick, but that's, sometimes it's pretty interesting to convert our photos, videos, or even li live stream to sketch version where we can see ourselves as black and white or similar way. So. I'm pretty excited to do another tutorial as continuation of it. Of course, it would be interesting to make another tutorial, for example, to en by enhancing the video stream, real-time stream, because right now I have pretty poor webcam and it would be good to enhance the, the video uh, you can see right now. So uh, I'll think if it's possible and how how hard it would be. And if it's not too hard to do that, of course, I'll create another tutorial about that and it will be open for you on my GitHub. So that's it for now. I hope this tutorial video was useful for you. You liked it. You can subscribe my channel, share my video or comment if you have any questions. And if you have some kind of future solutions, you can always create an issue on my GitHub link that is below. And of course, I'll try to respond to you as quick as possible. And that's it. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Bye, my friends.